I had the best intro and guess what it was not recording anywho I will try to um, recreate the intro that I did which sadly you will never hear anyway I am making lavender and honey which is an all-time favorite fragrance for me. I've said it before, I am not a huge lavender fan, which is why I need to have my lavender mixed with something. Lavender vanilla, lavender honey, or lavender lemon. These are all wonderful fragrances that are mixed with the lavender to kind of take the edge off. I mean, I've tried to like lavender by itself, and I just can't it's a little bit too pungent for me. So this is one of my all-time favorite fragrances from Bath & Body Works. I absolutely love it. So we're going to be doing three different colors. We're going to do, um, the base is going to be lavender. I'm going to do some purple vibrance with some titanium dioxide to lighten it. And then I'm going to do 24 karat gold from Rustic Essentials. Uh, for the honey color and then I'm going to just do a white um, kind of to break up the brown and the and the uh, purple okay so in here I have my additives which is powdered goat milk and white kale and clay and we'll go ahead and get started <laughs> I just got a whole bunch of air bubbles in here and which was not my goal so yay Megan thank you that was great <laughs> right. I just want to make sure that there's no lumps clumps flakes left in here of the goat milk or anything So now we can add our lye solution. In this lye solution, it's 100% aloe vera juice and some sodium lactate and some Tessa silk. All right, I used to add sugar in my lye solution, but now that I use wooden molds, I find that the wood insulates the soap enough for it to go through gel phase without having to um, have the sugar add additional heat and a lot of times it goes it overheats and it ends up cracking or I end up getting a lot of glycerin remover so I'm hoping that I don't do that right now all right pour pour I'm also going to pour in my coconut milk. It's organic. I mean, I don't know if it really matters, but I figure, hey, why not spring for the extra 25 cents or 50 cents for organic? Just in case it really matters. Because I grew up eating generic, non-organic stuff, and I'm fine, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, I just want to bring this up to emulsification. I do not want to um, have a trace because I'm going to blend the colors in a little bit more. Okay, so this looks good to me. Go ahead and pop that off. Break this down a little. All right. And 
and we'll split off for colors. This will be um, the white. Ugh. It's really not that heavy, but it's just awkward. And this will be the honey, AKA 24 karat gold. Don't need that much. The majority of the soap will be um, lavender. Okay. So, I pre-mixed my titanium dioxide with me. Shaky, shaky. Okay. Put that in the white. I will put the purple in here. And I absolutely love this purple. This purple is so vibrant, hence the name. Purple Vibrance. It's so pretty. Uh, sometimes, um, sometimes purples have a tendency to go gray in cold process soap. This purple does not do that. It is a very beautiful purple. Gray or brown. It could go gray or brown or tan if you want to call it tan. But this is a very beautiful purple. We need to use enough. Okay. Grab a little bit of the batter. Scrape out all that color. I want kind of a light purple. I don't want it super dark. And then let me wipe off this little spoon here and use it for the gold. And um, to be quite honest, this is my favorite gold. Um, Nurture Soap has a really good gold, but the 24 karat from Rustic Essentials is my favorite. <sighs> Love it. Put one in there for you, one in there for you, and let's blend up. Alright, we'll start with the white. this to be like super duper white. I just need it to be a contrast from, um, oh look, I was about to forget my fragrance. I've done that once. Let me go ahead and put it in. So it's not supposed to discolor, but we'll see if it does. <laughs> That's why I'm doing a smaller batch, just in case. Seems to be behaving really well, though. Okay, so now we'll go to the gold. And now, 
some lavender. I'm probably going to have to lighten this up now that I see it. I don't think I'll have to lighten it up. So it seems as if this fragrance oil has slowed down Trace. So it gives me a lot of time to try to figure out how I'm going to swirl it with the hanger swirl. I'm not good at hanger swirls, you guys, at all. It's just, it's not a talent of mine. But I'm going to try to do something pretty. Anyway, today we're going to see the San Diego State and Stanford football game. My husband's cousin's son, it's a lot, my husband, husband's cousin's son is playing in this game. And it is his last year as a college football player. So we are going, I think it's his last year. I have to ask. I don't know. I think it's his last year. Maybe not. Maybe he has one more year. Anyway, he graduated from college already. He's such an overachiever. He's so great. Um, he graduated in three years with his bachelor's in, I think it was like sociology, something like that. So he's in his master's program and he's on scholarship. So it's amazing. So we're gonna go see see him play today. I'm excited. I love football. Okay, so this is my new mold. My husband did not make this one, but it is so cute. It is from Workshop Heritage on Etsy. And I got this one because it's small you can get 20 bars with this 21 inch bars it's a two loaf um well it's a you have to use a loaf splitter a log splitter and um but this is i wanted to do a smaller batch so i could test out fragrances so this is why i got this one and so i'm excited to use it all right so let's get to pouring So here's the um, the uh, first loaf that I cut, and it's so pretty. I love all of the little delicate swirls in there. 
Um, it smells amazing. It's a very fresh, light smell. Definitely smells floral, but it has like a creamy note to it. Um, and I also planed and beveled them too. So they look very, very presentable. Okay, so here is the other loaf that I'm going to cut. I hope that it's focusing. I can't tell. Still trying to figure out how to use my camera. I got, well, I've had this camera for a while. It's a Nikon um, D3200, but um, I'm not very savvy when it comes to the cameras. So, do the best I can. Uh, anyway, oh, that one's pretty. I'll play in the back so we can use this one as a usable bar instead of using it as samples. Um, it's the last day of a three day weekend, it's Labor Day, and I have to go to work tomorrow. So don't want to go to work tomorrow, but you know, I gotta support the fan band with the job until, you know, until I don't have to anymore, <laughs> until I win the lottery or something. But, um, I don't even play the lottery, but so that's a slim to none. Anywho, I loved being off. I actually had created a five day weekend. I was off on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, which makes it a little bit harder to go back, I must admit. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I won't have a vacation until October. So, the end of October. So.